सीताराम 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 Rama's birthday. Rama as a unique place in Vedic tradition as the first being openly recognized as an incarnation when he was in the body. Please understand. Before Rama, all incarnations like Varaha Avatara, Matsya Avatara, Narasimha Avatara, they were all never recognized as an incarnation when, while they were in the body. Once Narasimha killed Hiranyagasivu and Hiranyaksha, he returned to Vaikunda. The Vamana took the Trivikrama Avatara and pushed Mahabali into the Bhatala, he returned to Vaikunda. Only Rama, after being recognized as an incarnation, continued in the human body. Sabda Rishis declare him as an incarnation during his coronation. Even after that, lived in human body. So, First incarnation recognized by the humanity is Sri Ramachandra Prabhu. <laughs> Rama is something extraordinary, really extraordinary. He is cultural fiber of Hindu tradition. I was shocked. If you just shout Rama, one third of India will turn. One third of India carries the name Rama in their name. In any crowd, just shout Rama, one third of the people will wake up. Rama is our cultural fiber. All the media asked me, Swamiji, what will happen to Rama's bridge? Ram Setu, they are trying to break. I said, nothing can be done. Don't worry. Anuman is protecting. He built it, he is protecting. Anybody tries to touch, their whole family will be destroyed. Their whole vamsha will be destroyed. Our sacred places are not just monuments. They are energy centers. Do not play with them. Rama is, I can say, first cultural maker and policy maker of Hindu tradition. See, politicians make policies. Spiritual leaders make culture. Rama is the first being who was both. He was a policy maker and culture maker. That is why still the heaven of Hinduism is always described as Rama Rajya. Our imaginary perfect world is always named as Rama Rajya because Rama was the ultimate culture maker and policy maker. Rama. The moment I utter that word, my whole body and being is filled with one concept. Tyaha. Sacrifice. Tyaha. Whole life of Sri Ramachandra is nothing but extraordinary Tyaha. He sacrifices everything for Sita's sake, risks everything for Sita's sake, kills Ravana. After that, even sacrifices Sita for the sake of people's opinion. Just to set a trend of culture, sacrifices even Sita. Please understand, if you just see the whole Rama's life, he is the greatest policy maker and culture maker. He sacrifices everything for making policy and making culture. First, he sacrificed his very kingdom, his capacity to make policy for the sake of culture making. See, culture making means completely obeying parents, making parents happy, listening to their words. So he sacrifices his capacity to be a policy maker, means his kingdom for culture making, obeying the parents, 
goes to the forest makes a new culture of simple living living with rishis munis meditating worshiping is a great devotee of shiva wherever he stayed he installed shivalingas as you all may be aware sri ramachandra stayed in andhra and karnataka during his exile on the banks of godavari he stayed much of his time in exile he spent on the banks of godavari then he moves to kishkinta hampi hampi area is kishkinta the present hampi area and continues with his journey towards sri lanka again if you see in every step when he kills wali he is a strategy maker once he gets the kishkinda kingdom by giving that to sugriva again he becomes culture maker when he kills ravana he becomes culture maker again by handing over that kingdom to vibhishana he becomes culture maker i am so filled with rama nowadays even about rama i am not able to talk especially after seeing the ramayana see i have read ramayana from the age of 3 the first mythological story i memorized and started repeating is ramayana at the age of 3 i gave ramayana satsang do you know the population of sri lanka during ravana's time 7 crore 7 crore people please understand those days you the you can choose your country all the 54 desas are open there was no visa system you can choose the country you want to live in because we believed in guest is god we believed in principle of guest is god a kalinga can come and settle down in chola a chola desi can go and settle in sri lanka so 7 crore people felt ravana's kingdom is the most safest place to live happiest place to live you cannot tell ravana is villain by himself no just a mess otherwise 7 crore half must be women 3 and half crore felt very safe in his kingdom in a way little more than ayodhya the population was more than ayodhya of course ayodhya had a less population because rama was out the story says once rama left ayodhya a lot of people moved out of ayodhya to different desas when when rama came back many of them have come back krishna in whole ramayana one small mistake of mantara mantra that also just for a one hour the confusion kaike he had you see kaike is not a bad lady just for one hour she had a mood swing women have that one weakness when you ha- when they have that cycle menstrual cycle the periods you can easily imbalance them and put them in mood swing mantra used exactly that period when she was having period physically when she was low mentally when she was low when she was physiologically and psychologically weak mantra confused kaikeyi but the moment that three days was over she was out she ran to bring rama back she also went along with bharata to get rama back she cried forgive me come back but rama said already i have taken the vow i cannot change so throughout the ramayana except two incident there are no villains only two incident one the kaigai mood swing another one ravana's mood swing same way men also just see please understand just like women go through menstrual cycle periods men also go through a period men go through 21 days with once in every 21 day the peak of lust will happen in human body when the male hormones are in its peak it will lose its logic understand for women when they are in valley they will lose their logic for men when they are in peak they will lose their logic surpanaga the sister of ravana used exactly that period of ravana when ravana was in peak of the 21 days she used impressed him about sita that fellow messed up sita ram sita ram sita ram sita ram sita ram